So things are going well so far this year. I think we're finally starting to figure out who the good teams are, and we got the leagues opening up this week. Yeah, we got a big showdown in the Alameda Contra Costa Athletic League. Pinole Valley hosting Berkeley. I think week one of the league play, we might find out who's gonna win that title. One of the other leagues that's opening this week is the EBAL. And you and I both had a chance to go out and see De La Salle, who is the favorite in the EBAL last week against Bishop Gorman. I mean, what'd you think of uh, Bishop Gorman? Uh, I, that was an impressive team, I mean. Shaq Powell, uh, he was probably the best player on the field that game. No disrespect to any of the great players at De La Salle, but what he did offensively, and he had that interception, he was phenomenal. That team was phenomenal, which makes De La Salle's win even more impressive. The Spartans turned it on in the second half. There's no question. They came out, they upped the tempo, they scored 21 unanswered points in the second half. The defense kicked it into high gear, and the Spartans got their win that they needed. Now this week they transitioned back into league play. They play Foothill. Uh, Cameron Rowland, the great receiver from last year, is playing a wing back this year. He's still catching a couple passes. But the EBAL is, is just great as a whole this year. Granada is opening up at San Ramon. So can George Atkinson run past that great defense in San Ramon? Cal plays Monta Vista. I have no idea who to pick in that game. Um, and the other game is Livermore against Amador Valley. And Livermore is 3-0 and going in. I can't remember they were, the last time they were 3-0. Yeah. You know, we do have a pretty good team right here in Oakland, too. I just can't get Jimmy to stop talking about the Mac House. He's been talking about the Mac House for weeks now. 4-0, and right now, can you say there's a better two-way player in the East Bay than Marcus Peters? Wide receiver, cornerback, I mean, he's so good, I don't know who would win a showdown between Marcus Peters, the receiver, and Marcus Peters, the cornerback. Marcus, this is a brand spanking new stadium. What's it like to play in these new digs, man? Man, it's amazing to play in this new field. It's growing up to seeing this field rebirth and stuff, man. It's playing on straight dirt. Now to play on a brand new Astro Field turf is amazing, man. All right, so this week you guys are 4-0, head into Salesian, uh, big matchup. Played them two years ago and they beat you guys 28 to nothing. What's it going to take to have things come out a little bit differently this time? Uh, just stay focused, practice hard, and come into the games knowing that we can uh, come out with a victory and start off 5-0 going to OEL. Got to contain Aaron Pryor in the backfield. You got to take care of Keiko Woolsey, a quarterback. It's a, it's a tough challenge this week for you guys, but you might be one of the best two-way players in the East Bay. Now here's what I want to know. You play receiver and corner. Let's say you're playing cornerback. How do you defend Marcus Peters? You play him off? You play him with bump? What do you do? You got to stay physical, man, because I'm a physical <laughs> receiver and I'm a physical DB, so you got to stay physical. So you're saying you can't get off the line is what you're saying? No, I can get off the line, but I'm just saying it's, gonna, it's, it's better. I like to, uh, to push myself, so it's, it's a push to come off the line. So you got to really show your athleticism to come off the line. So it's good. <laughs> so we know what happened if you were defending yourself. What would happen if Ben was in a one-on-one -on -one matchup against himself. Oh yeah. Ben, what's it like to be such an internet sports icon? What kind of a question is that? Are you a real reporter? I'm the kind of reporter that makes people cry. You, my friend, are no Inez Signs. Most ridiculous things I've ever seen. Man, what was it? But I gotta get off the practice now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. You guys felt you had a team that could go undefeated. Four for four so far. Uh, how, how has this team been able to kind of live up to those expectations so far? Well, our biggest opponent uh, thus far from fall camp all the way to now has been ourselves. Uh, we went in and played Pittsburgh. We were tremendous underdogs that week. We didn't feel we were. Um, we felt that we could beat that team. We felt that we could beat Ferndale and uh, and 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 McKinleyville, which beat us last year. Um, but we we play very disciplined, solid uh, football across the board. If we don't make mistakes, we stay disciplined. It's going to be hard to beat us. 